Hey guys, welcome on board flight TR617 on Scoot Airways. I'm currently seated on the tarmac at Swanaboom International Airport in Bangkok because I'm actually on my way back home to Metro Manila. But I have to say though, I'm actually going to be making a pit stop at Singapore where I will be catching my connecting flight to return home. This is actually an unplanned flight review but then again, who could resist reviewing a flight on Scoot Airways when you are inside a Boeing 787? At this point, we're just waiting for all of the pre-flight checks to be complete and also for the final passengers to come on board. Now I am seated at 12A, a window seat, a seat which I actually paid for. Now it's actually quite comfortable despite the fact of it not having neck support. I had so much leg room and I stand at 5 feet 8.5 inches tall so it was quite comfortable for me which I actually appreciate. Now the tray table was also secure which again I appreciate because not all tray tables are secure when you fly because if a tray table is busted it can actually cause more harm than good when an accident happens. Now the only unfortunate thing is that this aircraft did not have any individual air vents but at least we have individual lights here which you can actually control on the armrest it's located on the left armrest on your seat now the other thing though that I couldn't find are actually charging ports which you're actually able to rent out from Scoot but unfortunately maybe they don't have that on this aircraft now, I always take the time to read the safety card of the aircraft that I am on because this is just additional information for my safety throughout the entire flight. Now, this card actually came in handy because it was very warm inside the aircraft and I had to use this as a fan. So, pushback began 13 minutes behind schedule, which is the usual case when I am flying with Scoot. So, based on my experience, they never depart on time. Well, anyway, at this point, I decided to check out the in-flight menu because I was a little bit hungry. I initially thought that I was going to be able to eat at Swanaboom International Airport, but this wasn't the case. But anyway, as you guys can see here, there are actually rice meals, there are sandwiches, there are chips, instant noodles, and you know, drinks for you to choose from. And I was so happy to say that they had everything on this flight because sometimes there are some food choices that are not available when you're flying with them. And if you're in need of last minute gifts for your loved ones, you could always check out their Scootalog, which is their duty free catalog. So they have an array of cosmetics, personal care, skin care. They also have wines and various merchandise for you to choose from. I purchased this ticket back in January. It is a round trip ticket, Manila, Bangkok, via Singapore. The ticket cost me 10,850 pesos and 58 cents, which includes 10 kilograms of cabin baggage and and choice seats so I did not choose a ticket with check in baggage so it's actually quite affordable and I would have to say it would have been cheaper if I didn't have choice seats but then again because I was actually traveling via Singapore to pick up my friend before heading to Bangkok it was important that we were seated together for my Singapore to Bangkok trip and my Bangkok to Singapore leg. Now yes there are actually non-stop flights between Manila to Bangkok but then again because I had a friend who lives in Singapore who's also bound to fly to Bangkok I decided to have some fun and pass him by so that we can go to Bangkok together so it's more fun that way you know when you're traveling with friends and also the other thing I took this opportunity to fly on Scoot mainly because I have not flown on Scoot since 2018 and at that time they just got bought out because they used to be called Tiger Airways so I just really wanted to see like you know everything that's new with the airline like you know their service and I do have to say that I'm very happy with what I am seeing especially right now that I am sitting on this Boeing 787 and I also know that this is actually the type of plane that they fly between Singapore to Athens so this is really something that I should consider if I want to go back to Greece because sitting here on this aircraft right now is very comfortable it's quite spacious and I don't mind it at all but anywho at this point we are now about to depart Swanaboom International Airport so I'm gonna keep quiet now because we're now about to take off and let's see Bangkok from the skies
continue to hit altitude, I decided to check out the in-flight Wi-Fi because I was curious about it. Now the QR code to connect to the internet is actually located on the seat in front of you. Now what you have to do is to actually connect to the Wi-Fi on the aircraft first, after which you'll take this opportunity to actually scan the QR code. And after that, you'll actually be connected to Scoot Hub, which is actually very easy to do so. And I do have to say it was actually very fast to get connected to this hub of theirs. Now after keying all the necessary things to actually like you know start like you know the internet service, um, you're actually like you know um, sent into like the homepage of Scoot Hub and I was actually very surprised to see that like you know the food menu is there now the duty-free catalog is also there and amongst other things there are also some games that you can play with when you are on this hub and the other thing that I was also very surprised to see on the Scoot Hub is actually like you know the flight route because I actually like watching like you know the route of the aircraft or the flight that I am taking and I'm so surprised on how efficient effective and how fast like you know this actually shows up on the Scoot Hub app I am so surprised with this and I'm also very impressed this is actually very good now if you want to connect the internet you can actually do so but I do have to say that it's actually cheaper to purchase this in advance than purchasing this on air okay so you can pause this part of the video to see how much it actually costs to connect to the internet now 30 minutes after takeoff food service actually started so i purchased some cup noodles and some lemon iced tea because I was a little bit hungry. Now, I decided not to purchase a rice meal because it was going to take too long to be served. And it's actually a good thing because I actually purchased some sticky rice and mango at one of the duty free shops at the terminal in Swanaboom International Airport. And I'm so glad that I only had something like because I wanted to savor this very wonderful Thai snack. Now, I do have to say that this is one of the best tasting sticky rice with mango that I have purchased from the terminals because for my previous trip here last month, it wasn't that good, but this one was actually delicious. Alright, so it's toilet check time. So I'm located at the toilet a few rows behind my seat. So this is like located in the middle of the plane, just right after the wing. And this is actually quite a spacious toilet because this is the one that has wheelchair access. So the partition here in the middle actually collapses so that you are actually able to use the entire space if you're traveling with a wheelchair. Now I'm so happy that this toilet has been kept clean the entire flight and you have the basic necessities that you need for the flight. So you have soap, you have tissue and you have hand sanitizer so what more can you ask for now i do have to say that i actually enjoyed this leg of my trip like you know i was actually very surprised that i found myself to be very comfortable flying on scoot's boeing 787 because the boeing 787 is not one of those aircraft types that i like flying in because i feel claustrophobic flying in it but so far i am enjoying this flight and if i am going to go to greece soon i'm going to consider flying scoot to get there and just like that, I am now arriving in Singapore. I am welcomed by all the cargo ships lined up neatly off of its shore. And it's such a sight to behold, if you know what I mean. Now, I believe we are arriving early, which is um, not a surprise for me because I have realized that airlines now time their flights in such a way that it seems to appear that you're actually arriving, like, you know, a little bit earlier than as indicated on your ticket but i'm very happy with this because um, i initially only had an hour and 20 minutes to connect to my flight to metro manila so this means like you know i have like around an hour 50 so i can actually mill around changi international airport before catching my onward flight to manila okay so right now we're about to land and let us enjoy the lights over singapore as we head into chat
All right, so at this point, I am now about to board my aircraft for my onward flight to Manila. And I do have to say that it was actually quite taxing to go through the final security check just to board this flight. But anyway, I am now inside this Airbus A321neo on my Scoot Flight TR396, which is bound for Metro Manila. I am seated at 11A, which is again a window seat. And I do have to say that this is one of the most cramped seats that I have ever sat on in my life. And this goes the same for my flight from Manila to Singapore. So even if you can see like, you know, this curvature here on this, like, you know, seat, it is actually very uncomfortable. Now, I'm just so happy again that the tray table is actually very secure, but I actually don't like that the seat pocket here is actually located in this portion because you can't put anything on this seat pocket like you know and I actually miss having the seat pocket here I know they removed the seat pocket here to add space but it doesn't add space at all it really jams my knee um, especially like you know when I fall asleep during the flight now I'm very glad that I actually have individual air vents here just to add like you know air into my seating area but it really doesn't help because it Again, just like my flight from Bangkok to Singapore, it was very hot inside the aircraft, okay? Now again, the safety card has been proving to be a little bit useful as a fan. So again, I'm checking out the safety card here of this Airbus A321. And as we see here, we also have like, you know, the duty-free magazine and we also have like the scoot menu magazine so everything is actually the same from my experience flying out of bangkok and into singapore but one thing i've noticed though there's a hook here actually on the seat for me to hook like you know like a light jacket or even like maybe a mask or a bag okay so at this point we are now pushed back and it actually happened 17 minutes after the intended time of departure so again it was a little bit delayed so at this point we are now about to make our way into our departure runway and uh, so far I have actually enjoyed this like you know trip of mine extensively the only thing that I didn't appreciate was actually the final security check that I had to go through when I was connecting to my flight to Manila because I was actually standing in line for a very long time just to go through x-rays and while I was standing outside of the boarding gates um, boarding was actually like you know starting already so I'm actually quite surprised that I was actually able to make it inside my aircraft so anywho at this point we are now about to depart from Changi International Airport and let's enjoy like you know a few scenes of Singapore from the sky Alright friends, at this point I'm gonna get some shut eye because it's around 1.34 in the morning and I'm actually getting cross-eyed from being sleepy. So I'll see you when I'm about to land in Metro Manila. Terminal 3 and I'm now about to head to Immigration. 
inspiration so i'm gonna let you guys go now so if you have any more questions about my experience flying on scoot airways please let me know down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it all right so i'm gonna let you guys go now thank you so much for flying with me and i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye